Hi, kids. Today, we will learn about internal and external forces. All types of forces are either external or internal forces. External forces. Any force that acts on a structure from outside is known as external force. For example, wind, pushing, pulling are external forces as force is being applied from the outside of the object. Internal forces. Any force that acts from within the structure is called internal force. Let's learn it with examples. Here is a tree which is being blown by wind, but it does not fall down. What forces are acting on it? There is external force of wind, which is blowing it out. And the internal force from the tree is preventing it from falling down. Here is another example. This girl is trying to bend the scale, but the scale is not breaking down. So what forces are acting on it? The girl is applying the muscular force to bend it, and there is internal force in the scale, which is preventing from breaking down. So, internal forces acts from within the objects, and external forces acts from outside the objects. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. Now let's learn about some internal forces. Compression. A force that squeezes a material or try to make the material shorter or smaller. Here is a sponge. If you press against the sponge, you are creating compression inside the sponge. When you release the pressure applied on the sponge, the compression forces works from inside of the sponge and the sponge gets back to its original form. Here is spring. Now compress the spring. Now, when you release a spring, the spring will exert the opposite force and will get back to its original shape. So when you compress an object, it exerts back force in the opposite direction. Now let's learn about another internal force, which is tension. We learn compression is created when we try to make an object smaller. Exactly opposite to it, tension is created in the structure or an object when it is made bigger or longer. Examples, take a rope or an elastic object. Now pull it from both sides. Now, the force that develops inside the rope due to pulling is tension. When you release the pulling force, the elastic will come back to its original shape due to tension. One very good application of this tension force is catapult. A stone or anything is placed in the catapult and the elastic strings are stretched as far possible. It produces the tension in elastic strings due to its elongation. And when the elastic string is released, the tension force acts and the elastic comes back to its original shape quickly and the object goes far with speed. So kids, remember, when you shorten something, there develops a force of compression in it. When you elongate something, there develops a force of tension in it. Here is a simple beam bridge. Now let's see the types of forces acting on it. On the upper surface of the bridge, 
compression is created due to the live load or the weight that the bridge is carrying. And on the lower surface of the beam bridge, the tension is being created as the lower surface is stretched or elongated. Now let's learn another force and it's torsion. We learned that compressing an object creates compression. Pulling an object from both ends creates tension. Now, when you twist an object, it creates torsion. Different materials respond to torsion in different ways. Some may change their shape, or some may even break. Now let's learn about another type of internal force, and it's bending. Bending an object creates bending force. In the process of bending, both compression and tension are created on an object. If you bend a scale or an object, the side which is elongated develops tension. And the side which is getting compressed develops compression. And this is what happens in the case of beam bridges due to traffic or live load. The upper surface is compressed or shortened and develops compression. And the lower surface is elongated and develops tension. So kids, today, we learned about internal and external forces. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye.